There's quite a few folks that are here that, that aren't from there, though, if they want to speak up in chat, but most of them just kind of lurk. Zaflin is. <clears throat> Amelia is. She's a liar. Want me to send you their info? No, 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 no. Wait, it's literally a customer service rep, rep, rep job? You're here and you're late. Hi, Stabby. Welcome in, bud. You are not late, my friend. You are on time at 530. I'm from your dreams? Get out of my dream and get into my car. You're in lower Alabama. No, southern Alabama, which is still the U.S. Yeehaw! But I could also be considered a vault delivery driver. Interesting. Can't even get that right. It's okay. It's because you're from Alabama. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you're not. You're not as educated, Raris. Yeehaw, you live there? Nice. Yeehaw. People from lower Alabama are basically swamp people. Must be <laughs> I like him so much. He lives in he lives in northwestern Florida, what what. But I mean it might as well be Alabama, right? Or Georgia. Depending on how far east or west he is. What was from? From Arkansas. Yeehaw. You're 63 feet above sea level. Yeah, so you're not in Florida. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, but Florida's below sea level. Uh, actually, <laughs> the water table for Florida is below sea level. Oh, oh, I just scratched my hand and it sent like a a thing through my whole, like a nerve thing. That was weird. Ow. That was weird. I'm not a fan of how that felt. Boop. Hiya. I'm gonna try and go, um, I'm just gonna go back and forth this time. I'm not gonna go around a circle. I'm gonna try that out and see what happens. Zombie pigmins. They're pigmins. Wait. Oh, I never cut over here. Oh no. I forgot this whole sign. Pikmin pigmin. They're called they're called zombified pigmin. See? Or I'm sorry. Piglin. And what are they called? Pig... Wait, 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 wait. They were called pigmen somewhere. I could have sworn they were called pigmen. Maybe on like... I could have sworn they were called pigmen. Pigman. Pig man, a pig man. Uh, don't look at this chat. Within the game files and their zombified counterpart now known. Oh, see, they used to be called zombie pig man. 
I knew it. <clears throat> I'm old, okay? Zombie Pigman redirects to here for hostile mobs. He's zombie. When did it stop being called the Pigman? Zombie Pigman. See, the, the resource location is, is calling it that. 1.2. Zombie pigmen are now referred to as their real name, zombie pigmen, in the language file rather than pig zombie. Okay. Hold on. Pigman, pigman. In game is now zombie pigman. Okay. 1.16. Okay, so just in the last few years. Just in the last few years. Alright, I don't feel I don't feel so bad now. <clears throat> when was this patch? 2020. Okay, yeah. All right, all right. I don't feel so bad now. Damn it, they were zomb they were zombie pigmen. Forever. <laughs> they were zombie pigmen forever. At least I feel better. Massivar, what's up, buddy? How are you today? I should probably go around once to kind of get it away from the wall, but also I don't care. <clears throat> Excuse me. Wait, is this a, is this a third? Oh, it was a third. Massive arm doing fantastic, my friend. Just clearing out a perimeter, dude. Doing what we doing what we know best. Or at least what I know best. That's so weird that I can't call them pigmen anymore because they're not pigmen. <laughs> Hi, do you like jumping around my blocks? Can you stay away from me, please? Mining stuff to craft with and crafting stuff to mine with. Yes. But we, ha we don't have to craft anything to mine with for a long time because we can actually repair what we have. I had to craft one yesterday because I accidentally broke a pickaxe. But I think, I think we're doing pretty well now. Come on, Beacon. Hit me. Beacon! There it goes. Yeah! Uh-oh. Um, I should probably go around at this point. Let's cut this way, though. We gotta get this right here cleared out at, at least. And get it out and gone. Oh, it is cleared out and gone. So now I gotta get this pillar out of the way here. Beautiful. Oh, this was only one. Zombified the pig axe. That'd be kind of neat if you can use like zombie pigment bones to make a pickaxe that's like great in the nether but would suck in the overworld that'd be kind of interesting huh
Oh god, magma cubes. And magma cubes now. Crap. I don't like this chat. I don't like this. Just project, what, what? If you are interested. My best friends, the magma cubes? Yeah, sure, right? Oh shit, does it see me? Oh my god. Come at me! <laughs> they don't take fall damage? What? No way. Wow, they don't take fall damage. Well, this sucks. Trade the bow for the axe so you can shoot the magma cube. Well, I don't want to. Because then it breaks up into a million pieces. My goal is to stay away from the magma cube. I can handle it a lot better as one big gelatinous cube than like a million little babies. But Stabby, my point is we're going to be dealing with them all the way until we're done cutting this whole thing down now, now that we've made the space large. There's my storage right there. Tee -hee. That's my storage. All right, I gotta get over there. Made it first try. Always. mean to do that. This gets us over here to this side. Oh shit, you scared me little pig guy. You scared me. And off we go. No gas. Even though it will positively help with clearing, I don't want to deal with it right now. Hopefully I went far enough away where it despawned. When I start coming back, it'll start spawning again. Because this is a 256 block reach. Once I get into range of the beacon, I'd be I'll be within a hundred blocks of the wall. Which should be like right here. And then really should go over there I should probably cut this off at the edge of the, of the cliff we're gonna have tons of cliffs like this in the future
It's just going to keep getting more and more fragmented as we go down. Because obviously it has to be kind of congealed towards the ceiling. And then as we break away from that, we get into all the spires and the cliffs and mountain tops and jagged edges and outcrops and peninsulas. Spires and ledges. I'll cut up here just to get it off the wall. Makes more sense to do it that way. Probably turn right and take it off the wall and that in too. Yeah. What's up, Tiger Fang? How you doing today, bud? What what percentage are you 100% moved now? You're just emptying boxes now, right? Is that what you said? How are things? Shit, this is the Crimson Forest. Uh, I don't like this. I should be clearing out this right here, and I'm not. Um, I really don't know what to use either. It will clear those out afterwards. Just emptying boxes. Still can't find the bolts for your computer chair. Uh-oh. How am I? I'm doing fantastic, bud. Such so you can't find your bolts to your computer chair, though. Did you not have it all in the same area? off into a whole nother holler if you know what thread they are you should be able to find replacements that's true <clears throat> but there's also so many threads for things you know that'd be really hard to find out oh get them get them get them oh now he's hitting me Get him. Oh, gloat, gloat, gloat. You didn't gloat. I thought I did, but no luck finding them. I still have a few boxes of office to unpack. I'll hit up Ace if I can't find them in the next few days. Yeah, I, what I would do is just take the, is it for the mounting bracket for the wheels or is it for the actual chair itself? Man, my phone looks so clean now.
The chair to the base. Oh. Can you can you take the base with you to like ace that that way they can match the threads up if you don't know? Ugh, it's such a gross setup. Hey, we got some ancient debris. I'm taking it. I need to do a second box of these too, I think. Entropy, why were you on the floor? You okay, bud? You okay there, bud? What's the best way to figure out if you don't have any hardware laying around to test thread types with? Oh, that's the best way. Oh. What, is like taking the piece to the store? Do I mean Speedworks? Didn't I say Speedworks? Yeah, Jim Carrey's old, Speedworks. You're old. We're all old. I'm sorry, Entropy. My mind's a mess right now. What was that noise? Did you guys hear that? Oh, I'll take the chair base to the store. I got you. You would have never said he was 60? Oh, yeah. Bye, Kyle. Have fun, dude. Thanks for coming in. Son of a bitch. I hate all of this. What was that noise? Is that the song? <laughs> Entropy. Your internet pooped back to mobile. Is your internet that bad over there at the house? That's crazy. Leave me alone, please, God, leave me alone. Man, we're going to have tons of pork. I hate this. Um, they just want to give you all their pork, I guess. Crap, we're just going to be running right into them the whole time. <laughs> At least it makes up for all of the, um... Golden carrots we're eating. Oh, oops. So yeah, here's where we had to cut down to this part here. Just poops and then the magic buttons to reboot it are in my father's office, which I'm not allowed to touch. Ah. Womp womp. Does golden food do more than regen health? Golden apples do, but golden carrots do not. Go so um who cares wins? There's a there's a thing you can look up on the internet, uh, on the wiki, that tells you about all the different food and all the different strengths and weaknesses that it has or whatever. Uh, food has something called saturation. And what saturation does is it's how many hearts it will heal before it starts taking away from your food bar. 
And golden carrots have the same saturation, same saturation as cooked pork and cooked steak. The only difference is cooked pork and cooked steak early game into mid game are really hard to get because that's killing a lot of cows and a lot of pigs. But golden carrots are easy to get a hold of in, in comparison. I'm turning down my air conditioner. It's hot. So um, that's the one benefit to having golden carrots. They're, they're just as effective as cooked pork or cooked beef. They're just easier to get hold of. Because you can wait 20 minutes and, and farm, you know, 90 carrots in 30 seconds. Or you can sit there and kill pigs for 20 minutes and, and barely get a stack. Golden apples, they give you a temporary shield. I think it's just a temporary shield and temporary health regen. And then the enchanted golden apples gives you fire res, um, defense, and all kinds of stuff. Enchanted golden apples are, are insane. I think they give you a bigger shield too. But you can't you can't make an enchanted golden apple. You can make golden apples, but the golden apples are expensive. You need eight gold ingots per apple. So it gets kind of pricey. With golden carrots, you only need gold nuggets, which one ingot is nine nuggets. So you can make a carrot per ingot. The cool thing about the gold farm is you can make it to where you pretty much just have golden apples on you. Yeah, if you if you just Google like Minecraft food. Oops. Right here. It goes into the whole thing and tells you about saturation. Uh, value, it tells you about effective quality, saturation ratio, you can sort it. Um, but it's, it's crazy. So golden carrots are better than pork, but pork and steak are the same. It used to be pork was, was a little better, but now they made pork and steak the same. <laughs> 